What is going on everyone? Cambridge Seaver here and today I'll show you what we're doing. So I have these three beta well on the scoop head. These three beta bowls right here. And I just want to show you everything about them, um, where I got them from and all the care for these fish. So basically first off, what this is, it's like an acrylic tank kind of, just like an acrylic bowl, um, so it's really lightweight. It's just got a little like, yellowing right here, because I mean, just because it's pretty old. I've had these for a while, actually, several, several years. Um, so yeah, it just hangs on the wall. We put a, a nail in right there. Focus, yeah, we just put a nail on the wall right there, and then it just hangs on it, so I could like move it up. Sorry, spook them, but move it a little bit, and it's got like this uh, top hole in here, so you can feed them in take care of the tank and everything like that. So it just hangs on the wall like a small orb right there. So, and got the three of them. So that would look pretty nice. I'll try to scoot back and get that in frame. Three of them right here. And so I'll just start with this one. They all got white gravel, as you can see. Oh, well, actually this one doesn't like to lie to you. This one has like river rock kind of gravel. Um, these two have white gravel then. And this one is, honestly, I don't know like what specific like breeds of betas, if you want to call them that, these are. I don't remember, but this one just has some pretty light fins, purplish blue, very pretty fish. Sorry for the light there, but very nice looking fish. And I just got um, one blue plant in there for him. This other one is the, the ugly one of the bunch, not gonna lie, but that is pretty ugly beta, honestly. <laughs> Get his face. I think it's kind of funny though. I still think he's pretty cool. They're all they're all awesome fish. I just got some dumb shark in there for whatever reason. But um, yeah, they're all pretty nice. And um, last but not least, my favorite. This one is so beautiful. It's got a very like. Um, popping color, just orange, just red, with like those black lines. It's very beautiful. That one's my favorite up top. Um, you just got the river rock and some purple blue face in there. Yeah, so these, oh, let me scoot back real quick. Just bring cat. So, yeah, um, yeah, so I just hang them on the wall right here. They're all in a line. I thought that looked really cool for this office area. Um, and I clean the bowls. Some of you might say like, oh, it's well too small and whatever. Um, honestly, like betas are meant to like, like in the wild they live in like rice fields and stuff and they live in like tiny, tiny areas where there's not much water. And honestly, it's perfectly fine if you keep them in here. I think it's gonna be enough space for them. I don't remember how big these bowls are. Maybe like a gallon, I don't remember. But um, perfectly fine to keep them in here as long as you clean it weekly. Cause I, I clean the whole thing, all of them every week, once a week. And the water stays perfectly fine. Like actually the water looks really nice right now, but I like, um, I haven't cleaned it for like a week or maybe even a week and a half, honestly. So I'm about to clean it in uh, a day or two, but yeah, that's what it looks like after a while. So it really, it really doesn't get that dirty if you stay on top of it. And yeah, just close the blinds and stuff if you want to limit algae growth. Sorry for the camera spinning. Yeah, there's the salt water tank in the back right there. And what I feed them, open this thing, is just Aquion, Aquion beta food. That kind of looks like this one up here, a little bit. Yeah, Aquion beta food, they go nuts for this stuff. I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. And I've learned a way to uh, feed them. Because a lot of times the pellets will actually sink and they won't eat them and fall to the bottom and just make unneeded waste. So I drop one pellet in at each. They're, I don't know why, it takes them a while to notice sometimes. Can you eat the camera, buddy? There. I drop one in each at once, or at least I try to get one. I think I got two. Eat. Just slurp it off the surface. Now I go back up to the top, 
give him one. I get some more. I used to just like dump like five or six of them in. I give him one right there at once. But the thing is, like, a lot of times, I'm sorry about that. He just ate. See, this guy's not, not even noticing. There's one right there. All right, it's not really focusing, but he's not even noticing that he has food. And sometimes they'll sink to the bottom. So um, if I dropped like five or six in there, they would all like, most of the pellets would end up sinking to the bottom and they wouldn't even eat it. So that's not good. And it would get the bowls dirtier faster. So I'll feed them this way more uh, methodically, if you want to say that, than um, they eat more and less cleaning that I have to do. And it's just better for them in general. Um, I used to have like a moss ball in one of these. Like, I don't know what it's exactly called. Like a Marimo moss ball, I think is what it was called. It's just like some aquatic moss. And it looks pretty nice. I actually might get live plants in these again. Cause that will help. Um, in some way the plants like fill through the water. I think they like use nitrates. I'm not exactly 100% sure cause I haven't really ever done a live plant in a tank, so. But yeah, so this is just the beta bowls. And if you wanna get one, I'll leave a link in the description below to what, I mean, there's a few different models on Amazon, like with small variations, but I'll leave a link to the one that I think I got below into the description. So you can check that out if you wanna buy one of these, but I think they look pretty sweet. And I've had these betas for at least, well, I mean, Oh, it's like um, this red one I've had for the longest time, at least two or three years, and betas don't even live that long. Like maybe like I don't know, three to four years. I don't remember. I've had him at least like three years, and that was that was when I bought him. He was probably like who knows how old he was when I bought him. And this blue one I've had for a couple years. This one I've had for the at least. Oh my gosh! Look outside, guys. You probably can't see, but whoa. About to be like a tornado so i better oh my gosh that tree is gonna oh my goal just fell over what the heck jeez all right well i actually might want to like not oh my gosh not be by a window because i think a tree just fell okay well i gotta wrap the video up guys so sorry about that abrupt end that is crazy oh my gosh check that out how strong that wind is there's a car alarm going off, I can hear that. That's nuts. All right, well, I'm gonna get away from the window. Sorry for the darkness, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I gotta like probably go in my laundry room so I don't die. And uh, yeah, I'll leave the link in the description below if you wanna get one. And let me know what you thought about the video. Thanks, like, and subscribe. Listen.